A landmark ruling in California today bound to have profound changes on our highways, at our ports, and for our economy. California Air Resources Board voted to ban the sale of all new diesel trucks starting in the year 2036. The board said those types of trucks. So we got a long ways to go to get the infrastructure to be able to handle the demand of these trucks. <laughs> A lot of drivers, except for the people that live there, hate California because California in the U.S. is like Fort McMurray in Canada. They are the steerheads for everything. And California is trying to shut down emission trucks. In my thoughts alone, it's a big cash cow for that emission system. Oh, just give me my money. <laughs> yeah, just give me my money. Just give me my money. Hey guys, welcome back to Motivation and Box Trucking. When you ask drivers about California, there's a laundry list of reasons given for why they hate California. You can find so many videos across social media calling out these problems, from AB5 to the 55 mile per hour speed limit, but one consistent word is regulations. California, if you go in there and you have an older than what they want for a truck, they find you. If you have a deleted truck, they find it impounded. California is just a royal pain in the ass. If they don't like your paperwork, they don't like your documents, they'll quarantine the load. If you have agriculture, like, how dare you? They want newer emission because it seems like a lot of hippies are there, so they want green everything. And most truckers know that's unrealistic. That's why most people don't like California. Because if you have an older truck than they want, regardless of how well it's running or not, they won't allow it in unless they fine you. If your load only pays you 3,000 bucks and you get to the California border and your car, they charge you 3,500 bucks, fine. Is it really worth doing it? It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Keep it up though. In California today, bound to have profound changes on our highways, at our ports, and for our economy. California Air Resources Board voted to ban the sale of all new diesel trucks starting in the year 2036. The board says it's a decision to fight climate change. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The California Air Resources Board is to blame for the main issue at the moment, zero emissions. Some say it's all about money. Some say it's to legitimately save the environment. Let's check it out. To move to rescue it by the California Air Resources Board. This is an absolutely transformative law. Uh, to clean our air and mitigate climate change. Make no mistake, the time for putting public health second to the economy is over. It is pragmatic and it rolls out over decades. State regulators unanimously voting 14 to 0 to ban sales of new diesel big rigs by the year 2036 and phase out diesel trucks by 2042. How? Hold on, bro. How? How indeed? <laughs> Great question. Uh, in fact, Nebraska and 16 other states are asking the same thing. These states are backing Nebraska in a lawsuit against CARB. This is in addition to a lawsuit Nebraska filed back by 23 states against the EPA. Quote, California and the unaccountable EPA are trying to transform our national trucking industry and supply chain infrastructure. This effort coming at a time of heightened inflation with an already strained electrical grid will devastate the trucking and logistics industry, raise prices for customers, and impact untold numbers of jobs across Nebraska and the country. Neither California nor the EPA has the constitutional power to dictate these nationwide rules to Americans. The lawsuits are piling in. New on KETV, Nebraska Attorney General Mike Hilgers fires, files a lawsuit against a White House mandate. The suit aims to stop the electric vehicle mandate on truck manufacturers. Now, earlier this year, the EPA published a rule that forces manufacturers to produce more electric trucks, up to about 45 percent. Right now, a tenth of a percent of all semi-trucks sold are battery-powered. The attorney general argues that the mandate would short circuit the ongoing policy debate that should be left to Congress. Nebraska is leading the 24 state coalition against the mandate, 
which also includes Iowa and Missouri. Regulations on semi trucks are facing pushback now from the California Trucking Association. That group is suing the state's Air Resources Board over those new regulations. The Advanced Clean Fleets regulation has a goal of all making sure all new trucks sold after 2045 be zero emission vehicles, but the Trucking Association is claiming that in their lawsuit that California can't begin regulating trucking emissions without the permission of the EPA. Now, the association is asking the regulations be declared invalid and contrary to law. They're also asking for an injunction stopping CARB from enforcing the regulations. These California regulations are not just against trucking companies, but they are directly impacting the industry. Oil companies are leaving the state in response to the regulations, which will negatively impact gas and diesel prices in the area. However, regional air quality boards have declared California's ports off limits to trucks older than three years. The regulators say that's necessary to limit emissions from older trucks. Drayage trucks in particular are being targeted. Drayage trucks are often used for transporting cargo at railways and ports. They don't need to go very far, and they have more downtime for fueling, which makes it more feasible for electric trucks that need to be recharged often. So new trucks are going to be moving into these neighborhoods and pushing out the trucks that have been there? This is how gentrification starts. Before long, it's going to be nothing but star trucks in that area. But there are concerns that California's green energy ambitions are too rushed. Critics say that there isn't enough electric charging capability or even electric grid capacity. As of this recording, there are just 2,000 zero emission medium and heavy duty vehicles on California's roads, and nearly all of them are buses. Only 300 are zero emission commercial trucks, and less than 90 are electric semi trucks. California's new regulations are trying to add 510,000 carbon-free medium and heavy-duty vehicles by 2035, 1.2 million by 2045, and nearly 1.6 million by 2050. You've heard of going from zero to 100 real quick? Try going from zero to a million. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. If California keeps this up, they will reach their zero emissions goals because most of the companies will leave the state and nobody will be able to afford to drive their cars anywhere. Tell me what you think. Get the conversation started. Remember to join the Patreon. Until next time, stay safe and stay motivated.